haplotype blocks are areas on the chromosome where everyone in the species or everyone in the population has either one type or the other type. Haplotype blocks are areas on the chromosome where everyone either has one type or the other type. To understand this, we have to think about meiosis. You inherit two copies of every chromosome. You get one chromosome from mom and one chromosome from dad. So any piece of information in your genome is replicated on two different chromosomes. So you don't just have one chromosome one, you have two chromosome ones. And let's say that there was a gene for eye color on chromosome one. You don't have two copies of that gene for eye color, one copy of that gene for eye color. You have two copies of that gene for eye color. And they can have different instructions because you inherited one instruction from your mom on one chromosome, one instruction from your dad on the other chromosome. During meiosis, shortly before cell division takes place, the chromosomes that you inherited from mom and the chromosomes you inherited from dad double. That's because you're getting ready to make more cells. And then something strange happens. So I want you to pay attention up here and up here. So this is so this is chromosome one from dad. This is chromosome one from mom. Yes, they've already divided. These are still called sister chromatids. But the point is, is that this is the this is in every in your in your cells where you inherited that chromosome one from dad. This is in your cells where you inherited chromosome one from mom. During the process of meiosis, which is when sperm and egg cells are made, at this stage of meiosis, pay attention up here, although this could happen anywhere on the chromosomes. Look at that, they swapped. This little piece of chromosome one from mom was swapped with this little piece of chromosome one from dad. Look over here, it happened again. Another piece was swapped between chromosome two from mom and chromosome two from dad. Look over here, another piece was swapped. This piece of chromosome three from mom and this piece of chromosome three from dad. This swapping keeps happening. Look at all the different places where this swapping has happened. What this means is that every individual sperm and egg cell that's eventually produced, because this could become uh, one, one egg cell or one sperm cell, this could become, whether we're talking about a female or a male here, this could become one uh, a sperm cell or one egg cell. So now you have these mosaic chromosomes, right, because of crossing over. You, you will also hear crossing over referred to often as recombination. So look at how everything got shuffled, okay? Haplotype blocks are areas on the chromosome where everyone either has one type or the other type. So look, because things have gotten shuffled, you don't have one type or the other type as much every more anymore. Remember how the, these were all purple and these were all blue? Well, now you've got little pieces of purple in here and little pieces of blue in here. The purple and, and blue correspond to different DNA codes, right? Different sets of instructions. So now the instructions are getting all mixed together on the same chromosome. The, the, the instructions from mom and the instructions from dad are getting all mixed together on the same chromosome. So, for instance, Everybody in the population doesn't either have a purple type of chromosome one or a blue type of chromosome one. They've got some parts that are blue and some parts that are purple, right? If we, if we trace everything back to a common ancestor where all the, where chromosome one was either the blue type or the purple type. But now things have gotten mixed up. Now the chromosomes are mixtures of these original parental blue types and purple types. And that happens every time there's meiosis. Haplotype air blocks are areas on the chromosome where everyone either has one type, same, one type or the other type. Let's imagine that this is the DNA code. I'm not using the letters of the DNA code here uh, just to be more il illustrative. So imagine that in meiosis, we had this happen where, so, so these, are, these are two copies of the DNA code, one inherited from mom, one inherited from dad. Now, as that child is th themselves grown up and making their own gametes, you're going to have meiosis occurring where sperm and egg cells are made, and those chromosomes, one copy from mom and one copy from dad, are going to get mixed together. 
So some of the instructions on one copy of that chromosome will be from dad, some, copy, some parts of the instructions on that same chromosome will be from mom. And then those are what are eventually made into the sperm cells of a man, egg cells of a woman. So imagine that in the population as at, as, at, at and large. So what you're looking at here, each one of these is an individual dog. And we're looking at their DNA code of the uh, sperm or egg cells that those individual dogs are, made, are making. So each one of these is an individual dog. I should have used an adult dog uh, because they're making sperm cells or egg cells. And in those sperm or egg cells, the original parental uh, chromosomes are all getting shuffled. And they're all getting shuffled in different ways because crossing over is a random event. So you get these different mosaics of the two uh, original parental uh, individuals. So and now we can make we can start to find haplotype blocks. Haplotype blocks are regions of the chromosome where all individuals have either one type or the other type. So if we look here at this part of the chromosome, again, this is this is each one of these is a different individual. Here's one individual dog. And here's their two copies of the DNA. Here's another individual dog. Here's their two copies of the DNA. Here's another. So there's six dogs represented here. But all dogs at the first part of the DNA code, and again, I'm not using the real nucleotides. I'm just using random letters just to be more illustrative. But they either have an AB for that part of the code or a BL. Look at every individual. You can't find me an individual that isn't either an AB or a BL. So that's a haplotype block because it's, it's, it's a region of the chromosome where every individual either has one type or the other type. Look at this, though. There's no haplotype block here because an individual can have BAZ, EBL, BBL, or EAZ. So there's a bunch of different types here. Things have gotten all shuffled around. So there's not two different types here anymore. There's not the two original ancestral parental types represented here. There are these weird shuffled combinations. So there's no haplotype block there. But look in here. We still have another haplotype block here because this is a stretch of the chromosome where everybody's either ABBAZA or they're EBLABL. If you look here, you can see that everybody in the population is either one type or the other type. Again, this is one individual here, two, three, four, five, six. And you're seeing for each individual two DNA codes because they inherited one copy of the chromosome from mom and one copy from dad. Here's our final haplotype block right here. Well, I mean, you could call these haplotype blocks here where it's just a single nucleotide in length, but that's so small we usually don't consider it. But look here. Everybody is either a BAZ or an RGH. Same thing here. So there's a haplotype block. Oh, and then I just noticed there's another haplotype block right here. Everybody is either a DA or an OO at this spot on the chromosome. So th even if this is a lot to take in, this should at least give you the flavor of haplotype blocks are these regions of the chromosome where everybody either has one type or the other type, these stretches of the chromosome where it's not everybody's the same, but there's only two choices. They're either this flavor or that flavor of that part of the chromosome. Why do population geneticists care so much about haplotype blocks? Because the average length of these runs where everybody's the same, the average length of these haplotype blocks will get smaller through time. Because the more generations you have of uh, individuals making sperm and egg cells, the more generations you have of this shuffling of the uh, original chromosome that was inherited from that mom and the original chromosome that was inherited from that dad. So over the time, over the generations, things get more and more shuffled. And the average length of these stretches where everybody is the same will tend to get smaller through time. So by looking at the size of these haplotype blocks, where these runs on the chromosome, where everybody either has one type or the other type, you can see how far back in time you would have to go until you had these pure chromosome types.